Okay, so the Maya Dex is now in a maintenance mode. It now says after a successful governance vote, Maya Dex and MEX are evolving. Uh, the scheduled maintenance for the migration process begins on the 8th of December and will end on the 10th of December. Um, I, I believe we will be able to do stuff though later today and tomorrow. So uh, hopefully we won't be seeing this for like two days or three days or or more. Um, so it says here, see you on xexchange.com. If you go there at the moment, it says restricted. So uh, there's nothing we can do there. It's been going through the Twitter spaces discussion between Lucian and Benjamin. Uh, and in particular, the most interesting bit is a bit where uh, Lucian is talking about um, the new tokenomics of um, LK Max version 2. Um, just have a listen to this bit because I think this is answers a few questions that a lot of people have had. I have to do. So first of all, um, transitioning from V1 to V2 in the sense of the actual locked Max V1, converting it to uh, locked Max V2 is not mandatory. So you are not forced to uh, convert your locked Max. Uh, of course, if you do, there are some benefits. But if you don't convert, you, you, you need to understand that your unlocking schedule is not changing. So you don't need to worry. The existing uh, schedule, unlocking schedule remains uh, the same. Also, if you don't convert, um, you still get all the benefits of the V2 uh, economics. It's uh, if you uh, know how the V2 works, basically, even without converting, you still get all the energy for the locks max you hold uh, based on the average lock of the entire locked max you have on your account. It doesn't matter if you have locked max that is unlocking in one month, in one year. Uh, there is a smart contract and a snapshot uh, that is done on all your locked max and you receive energy and all the benefits associated with with uh, the energy I won't go into all the benefits you are getting in V2 but basically what I'm trying to say here if you don't uh, convert you are still enjoying uh, everything there are some some uh, let's say drawbacks if you don't convert and basically there are two things you cannot do if you don't convert you cannot unlock uh, speed up the unlock this is something that in v2 at any time you can unlock your your uh, locked max of course by paying a so-called removal fee also if you don't convert you will not be able to add energy on your existing locked max this is a new concept we added in v2 where basically you are no longer limited to a one year lock time for your lock max, but you can at any time choose to uh, increase or add energy and more lock time to your existing lock max so that you, you have one year, two years or four years uh, lock time. Um, maybe um, let's see other things that uh, you need to understand is, as I said, very important for those who, let's say, are on uh, believing our vision and are uh, uh, with us on the long term, and they want to maximize their energy. There are so many uh, benefits of on converting. Still, if you don't want or you want to a little bit to wait, you still can taste the new the new rewards and how things uh, things happen. There are here one more thing to add here. There are some let's say we call them bonus rewards or con conversion rewards for those who choose to convert in the first 30 days after we launch v2 there are some some uh, bonus or rewards incentives uh, if you want and i know that here probably i'm going to answer by touching this a lot of questions regarding those bonus rewards or conversion rewards and i'm going to touch uh, on those because i guess by this i i have on my list at least six or seven questions regarding those rewards meta bonding and the nft rewards so first of all let's see what are those bonus rewards if you convert in the first 30 days after we launch v2 um, there are two two types of rewards, meta, bon meta bonding rewards or meta bonding bonus rewards and an NFT that will guarantee you a winning lottery ticket in a launchpad. Before going into details on each one, I want to 
make sure that uh, you understand how you can get those two bonus rewards. First of all, you need to convert all your V1 locked max to V2, but you don't have to lock it for four years or the maximum uh, uh, possible. You just need to convert. But you need to understand that by converting from V1 to V2, your lock time will change. And it will change so that it will be four times more than the average lock time of your locked max V1. So what it, does it mean? If you have the average lock time of your locked max V1 is two months, by converting it to V2, it's going to be eight months. So it's not like if you do decide to convert everything to version two, you do have to lock it up for four years. You know, the, when you change it over, you will have a essentially an unlocking schedule. Although I guess they will talk about it in energy, maybe. Uh, but if you decide to lock it for four years, then it will be a a four x multiplier. Uh, now I think it was Hooky who commented uh, earlier on saying that when you uh, lock for four years, it adds six months on to your uh, your time. It might have been this example that Lucian gave where he was saying if you had two months, it would turn into uh, eight months. So obviously adding six months on. Uh, that might have been the example that maybe uh, somebody got confused with. So that's what it is, really. Uh, there's another bit I just want to draw your attention to as well. This is about um, how it's done, which where, which it seems that you will have to kind of unstake your um, liquidity and you know separate LP tokens and put them back together again. Now the fear there is about impermanent loss, and uh, Lucian did make a point about this, which I think is worth listening to as well. Is regarding the impermanent loss. I've seen a lot of confusion here uh, since converting from V2 V1 to V2 uh, will will uh, mean there is a need of a manual process where you need to, for liquidity providers to exit farms to uh, withdraw their liquidity in order to get the V1 lock max and convert it uh, to to V2 uh, what I want to mention is in permanent loss um, it's is just a concept by removing by exiting a farm or by removing liquidity you are not uh, uh, incurring the impairment loss uh, per se. The impairment loss, it's uh, something that happens if you uh, only don't come back uh, and provide liquidity. If you are in, in this case where impairment loss, uh, it's something that is affecting you. If you are withdrawing, you are not changing uh, anything. And if you are putting putting back. Okay, so uh, I hope that's clear. Um, yeah, so impairment loss, you know, if you're split up your LP tokens and then you kind of convert to version 2 then you reprovide the liquidity you're not going to suffer in permanent loss uh, just by doing that so that's worth pointing out something else worth mentioning is the fact that the fees for early withdrawal will be uh, withdrawn um, during the migration and Lucian confirmed that here as well uh, after V2 goes live there will be some uh, fees that will remove temporarily for 24 hours for 48 hours basically the unbonding period for meta bonding for meta staking and also the penalty for withdrawing in the first 48 to 70 hours from the farm will be temporarily uh, removed so that people can uh, easily convert from v1 to v2 and by the way while we're waiting around for the decks to be live again uh, it does mean your, you know, your wallet's okay. Your MyR wallet. So if you've got that on your phone or on a, on a Chrome extension or whatever, and uh, you know, you can still do stuff with with other places. Um, so you know, if you're feeling uh, feeling like you want to earn seventeen percent APY on your Zoid Pay, you can go to the shortcut I've made called SaberCrypto.org/sp, SP for shopping pool, and uh, if you go there. Uh, you will end up at this page here and you can see I've got 38 Zoid pay there so if I wanted I could stake that 38 Zoid pay in there and I think it even lets me do that even with a very small amount like that but it's worth doing it um, for 100 Zoid pay because if you stake 100 Zoid pay which is only a few dollars uh, I will give you 100 zoid pay so that's what you can do if you've got some zoid pay in your my wallet right now but otherwise we can just uh, wait till later and hopefully 
see how it works swapping version 1 LKMX to version 2 LKMX. Okay, so if you've enjoyed the video, give it a like. Please make sure you subscribe, leave a nice comment, um, and above all, tell your friends.